Okay, so this is a video response to Norman McGregor or Norm's Green Home. Um, I got tagged in wanting uh, to know the knife that started it all. Hold on. <clears throat> Tripod leg was slipping. Anyway, um, you know, yeah, I'm a girl. <laughs> and so when I was a little kid, I was not um, down by the creek playing war or cowboys and Indians. Um, actually, the way I was raised, my childhood situation, I was cooking. I was in the kitchen um, at puberty and I uh, cooked for our family. And so, basic knife like this but I always like the ones with the edges like that because if I did go outside fishing I could put my fishing line across it, psh, yank it, kept one by my bed um, and obviously using it in the kitchen. Now from a prepper standpoint, females, most, I'm not saying all, but women like me, um, our prepping focus is not on going out and getting the deer, but growing some vegetables and then the deer that's brought back, uh, preserving it and cooking it and preparing it and getting my food stock up and my medical supplies. So I don't have any of those little pocket knives. I know my dad always had a Swiss Army knife and everything. Um, but today, nowadays, what I prefer for my knife um, outside of the kitchen is, I think you pronounce it more a knife. Um, it's just a very simple, this handle is rubbery, so I can grip it well. Um, very sharp knife, you know, I see it as self-defense, preservation, uh, cutting through whatever I need to cut through. Um, I did use it whenever um, I was skinning off the pig. Um, so, you know, sorry it's not more exciting from the girl's standpoint, but, you know, again, I was... Uh, I was going to tap class and ballet class and then cooking dinner. So yeah, so my, my knives were the kitchen knives and uh, truth be told I was not afraid to use them. <laughs> Many times my parents had to work late and um, you know I had that knife right there with me all the time so, but I don't have that particular knife anymore. Um, this is the closest thing I could find to what I would have used then. Um, Boy, I gotta tag somebody, don't I? Um, you know, there's a couple people I'd like to tag, but I think it seems like a little while back I saw them do their own review, so they probably had been tagged before. Um, but I'm going to tag Pure White Flutterby. Um, she's a fairly new subscriber to me. She came to me through 420 Homestead. And she doesn't have a whole lot of videos out, but she's a really nice chick. I really, I really dig her um, so far, and I'd like to hear a little bit more from her. Um, I'm gonna put the link to her channel below. Uh, if you guys uh, check her out, she is, she is a prepper. Uh, maybe give her some encouragement. I think she might put some more videos out for us if uh, we let her know we were watching. Um, <coughs> You know, I think we're going to stick with that theme. I think I'm going to, uh, well, I wonder if 420, I already did one. Let's see. Let me just check the channel out for a second. I'm going to tag 420 Homestead. Um, if you've already done this before 420, sorry. <laughs> uh, just re-upload what you did. I didn't see it if you did. I, I try to watch all of my subscribers or my videos of the subscriptions that I'm on. But um, Pure White Flutterby and 420 Homestead. Uh, the links are below me. So I'd like to hear what you guys have to say. And Norm, thanks again for tagging me. Um, like I told him whenever I found out he had tagged me. I was so excited because I never get tagged in any of these and you know unfortunately just happened to be one where 
I don't have the little Swiss Army knives to share um, or big stories about it. All I can tell you, steak knife cuts fish in line. It also saws through little pinfish or sunfish that you catch to cut up into bait for other fish. Um, I think my mom would have had a heart attack if she thought that I had an actual knife. And I think that if Dad thought she wouldn't have had a heart attack, he probably would have gotten one. So um, it's the best I could do on that. Um, but like I said, this Mora knife is pretty awesome. I really like it. It has no fancy features. It's just it is what it is. But the rubber handle on it, it fits me well. I just I really like the way it feels. So um, hope you guys are doing good. And I got a couple more videos I'm going to be doing here shortly. So I will talk to you soon. Peace.